one to scold, even when the heavens deem the most abject of failures receptive to correction. Likewise, in cackle asleep, the magpies remain tucked away. A mother can no longer dismiss her child as a spectacular waste of an education. Even the wind stills its sighs in the dry and bare branches of the nearby white spruce damaged by burial blight. Meanwhile, a pearl green fox retracts its untrussed tail through an eastward sky thick with unfamiliar stars. If I wake, missing the cold, fresh sound of the snow, I may still miss the kinds of places that scar me and complete my sorrow. Late at night, the birches must let their leaves pitch and invocate the floor of what is left of the woods near what is left of me.